What's up, everybody? Fellow Minitachi here with some breaking, super fantastic news. It is E3 week. It is June 13, 14, 15, 16, 17th, 18th-ish. It is that week right now. It is E3 week. And we've got some brand new news from Nintendo. Brand new news for the Pokemon game of Sun and Moon. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and check out the brand new trailer that has been released. I watched this during E3, but I wanted to wait until they released the trailer, which I knew they were going to probably do it right after the announcement on E3, so they don't basically make E3 pointless for themselves. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the new trailer. So, new Pokemon have been discovered for Pokemon Moon. I know everything about this. This is the brand new Pidgey. This is Pika Peck. This is a normal flying type. With the abilities Keen Eye and Skill Link, you'll be able to find this in Routes 1, 2, and 3, probably. We got Young Goose, that Furret type Pokemon. It's going to be super annoying. It's a normal type. You're going to find it in the beginning routes, as well as the Gruppin, which is the bug type. The basically the new Caterpie Weedle type duty. And he's got the ability Swarm, just like most bug Pokemon. And it looks absolutely boss. The new mythical Pokemon of Magearna, which is... A Steel Fairy type is finally going to be released in Pokemon Sun and Moon and has a real cool ability. Now, why do you got to do an Eevee like that, my man? Now you're going to get Megierna's Soul Heart. When a Pokemon dies, the special attack gets risen and it releases a Fleer Cannon, which is probably a fairy type move. Looks absolutely boss. And a brand new battle mode has been released as well, and I am super stoked. As you can see by the characters, you get to customize your character. Now it's battle mode. It is battle royale, which is a free-for-all. Now, it's a four-player free-for-all, and it looks really cool. And a lot of YouTubers love the free-for-all type concept, so this is going to help them a lot. Especially people like Callum or uh, Hood and Scrafty. Love his channel very much. Now, the one thing I dislike about this is that when one of your opponents dies, the other three are considered winners. So I wish it did go for the last man standing type concept, maybe they'll do that in the future. But this is for Pokemon Sun and Moon, which will be released on November 18th of 2016. So let's go ahead and dig deep into details on what we just saw. Starting off with the brand new Pokemon Peaky Peck. It is a woodpecker Pokemon, normal flying, and it looks really, really cool. Its height is 1, with a weight of 2.5 pounds, and the abilities of Keen Eye and Skill Link. Peaky Peck can strike 16 times a second with its beak being a woodpecker. These strikes are powerful enough to not only drill through hardwood, but even shatter stone. The noises made by their blows can signal others. Some of the signals have been identified as warning signals and greetings among allies. Piggy Peck trainers have grown to recognize them as well. These Pokemon drill holes in trees and store food in their holes. They also like small glittering objects and will tuck them away in their food stores. 2. It's often said, something lost, something missed, check inside the Peaky Peck nest. Like, like, like the little poem you guys got there. Peaky Peck will attack distant opponents by zipping seeds at them. These shots have enough strength to embed the seeds in tree trunks. Now, I do want to say, this is probably the Pokemon that you're going to find. This is the new flying, normal flying type Pokemon that you're going to find on like routes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The early game uh, flying type that you're always going to catch. It's basically the brand new Pidgey. Or basically, it's basically the brand new flying type Pokemon. So let's get to the next new Pokemon that we were able to find within this video. Being Young Goose, a loitering Pokemon. It's a normal type, a height of 1, a weight of 13.2, and the ability of Stakeout and Strong Jaw. Now, I don't really like, I'm not too keen with the looks of this Pokemon. But let's dig deep into details on what this guy is all about. Young Goose is a big eater that is never satisfied. Similar to Snorlax. The majority of its long body is given over its stomach and its digestion is swift. It's also very so it's very hungry. It has strong fangs so it can crush and consume the hardest of objects. Each Young Goose chooses its own particular route for searching out prey. It stalks along this route searching for food until it's exhausted at which point it drops and sleeps wherever it may be. It's, the, it's thought that these Pokemon decide their routes based on safety, so that there's no risk in falling asleep at any time. Young Goose is not a Pokemon that is native to the Alola region. It was brought to the region to help deal with the explosive population of a certain other Pokemon, and now Young Goose are commonly seen around the Alola region. 
Some young goose have the an ability that no other Pokemon discovered has previously had. This ability is known as Stakeout. With the Stakeout ability, this Pokemon's moves can deal twice the normal damage to any Pokemon that switch in and enter the field mid-battle. So you're going to want to get a Stakeout Young Goose, and since the Pokemon is so common in the Alola region, it's easy to catch one, but the Pokemon has a terrible temper when it's hungry, and it demands a whopping amount of food. Young Goose is pretty much like the Furret, or the Zangoose, if you will. It is the Pokemon where you're going to find on, like I said, routes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, common, you're going to hate its guts, and it's just going to be there every single patch of grass you find. You're just going to find this douchebag, and you're going to hate life, but it's you got to deal with it, because it's always one of those. But, I do want to say, with this not being a native to the Alola region, which region did it come from? Soon to find out. And the last Pokemon that we were given notice to is Grubbin. It's a larva Pokemon. It is a bug type with a height of 1 and 9.7 pounds with the weight, and it has the ability of Swarm, just like most bug Pokemon. Grubbin relies on its sturdy jaw as a weapon in battle and as a tool to burrowing through the earth. Grubbin loves electricity, which is why it can be found near power plants. Hmm and substations. By warping tree branches in the sticky threads that it spas from its mouth, Grubbin can swing around like an actor on suspension wires. Grubbin's a really cool type. It is pretty much the new Caterpie, the new Weedle. The new, it's the new bug type Pokemon that you're going to probably find in the forest right when you start adventuring into a lower region. There's always a forest right in the beginning of the game, and this is probably the dude that's going to be swarming it up there. So the next part of the video that I wanted to go ahead and talk about was the new battle format, which was Battle Royale. The battles occur on a specially constructed stage. It truly is melee. Pretty much the Pokemon Sun and Moon features an addition to the whole new battle format that is never seen before, except on YouTube channels that have taken advantage of it. The Battle Royale. In the past, Pokemon battles have generally been battles with one trainer against another. But in this battle royale, four trainers are able to divide in a four-way battle that pits each trainer against each other in a th and of the others, three in a furious melee. Everyone can feel the thrill of battle. In a battle royale, four trainers are jumbled in battle together. But the rules are simple. Each of the four trainers chooses three Pokemon and sends one Pokemon into battle at a time. The battle is over at the end of every turn when all of the Pokemon of one trainer have fainted. The players are ranked, and a victor is declared based on the number of Pokemon each defeated and the number of Pokemon each has remaining in play. So that's pretty cool. Uh, while the rules are simple, they also allow players a new way to enjoy Pokemon battles, one where many new strategies have been born, as each player must try to predict who will attack whom or way acting to save a player who's in a pinch in order to aim for the number one position. Now, what I do like about this, it, it does bring the free-for-all format. A lot of YouTubers, especially Callum, a.k.a. Hoodlum Swifty, shout, Hoodlum Scrafty, shout out to him. I love his channel, and he does free-for-all battles. Now, this is going to help him a lot, but the fact that the battle ends with whomever loses their three Pokemon, and the other three still survive, it's kind of a letdown. I, I wish it did go until the Last Man Standing. They should have two formats, Last Man Standing and this one, because this one does have a cool niche to it, giving you a score of 1, 2, 3, and 4, not just a winner and three losers. Next up, I did want to go ahead and show you the brand new Mejirna that we were able to find. It is not brand new. It has been uh, released a while back. It is an artificial Pokemon. Weighing in at 177 pounds, it is a mythical Pokemon with a height of 3. Type is Steel and Fairy, and its ability is Soul Heart, as we saw in the video. Going into Mejirna in a little bit more detail, it's a mythical Pokemon that was created by scientists of uncommon genius 500 years ago. Mejirna has the power to perceive the emotions, thoughts, and feelings of other Pokemon. If a Pokemon is injured, Mejirna will feel uh, there's pain and suffering and will try as hard as it can to save that Pokemon. Mejirna's real body is a spherical construction in its chest, called the Soul Heart, created by a scientist who gathered the life energy from Pokemon. Mejirna has the ability to transform itself its, in, uh, into the appearance of a Pokeball. It does so when it sleeps, and apparently also when it's sad. Mejirna's ability is the Soul Heart ability, a new ability that no previous Pokemon has had, 
Soul Heart has the effect of raising the Jonah special attack by one each time another Pokemon in the area faints. This is a new ability, one that can be put to good use in battle. If you use the new oh, QR scanner function that I released in the last video of Pokemon Sun and Moon updates, to scan a corresponding QR code, you'll be able to obtain the mythical Pokemon Magiana, which will have the special ally that you can put to work on your behalf and end in the world of Pokemon Sun and Moon. So we're going to be able to check back for the QR code on the Pokemon.com slash Sun and Moon homepage for more details. And last but not least, I want to go ahead and show you something that was released as well. Not in the video, but it was released in E3. Luna, Lunala's, as well as Solgaleo's, the two brand new legendaries for Sun and Moon. Full Moon Phase and Radiant Sun Phase. These are two new forms for the legendary Pokemon. Solgaleo and Lunala are two Pokemon that hold an important key to the story. The forms that these two Pokemon take when they are released... Mighty Power are now revealed as Radiant Sun Phase and Full Moon Phase. Both appear in the Shining with a stronger light than in their previously released images. What will these two types hold when they release their power? We do not know yet, but we do have the images. Now, I do gotta say, Lunala's Full Moon Phase is pretty obvious. Uh, it, it just looks like a full moon. It raises its wings into a full circle. But Solgaleo's Radiant Sun Phase looks absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait to use this in battle. I'm truly loving Solgaleo as a legendary type. It looks absolutely boss, and I cannot wait to learn more about it. And I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in, everybody, to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What was your favorite new of the three Pokemon that are released in the early routes of the game? What is your favorite two of the legendary Pokemon? What do you think about Mageona? And what do you think about the new Battle Royale format? Thank you very much for tuning in. For the one Itachi is out.